When you swipe your card at the gas pump, you may be handing crooks what they need to steal money from you. Thieves can install credit card skimmers, copying your account data along with your PIN if you type that in. St. Louis startup company Exit 7C introduces a smart solution, promising a range of benefits for customers. Driving to work, picking up kids in a rush, just remembering to fill up the tank? Convenience is what many busy people are looking for, the convenience of paying at the pump. But doing it this way could come with a price for gas station owners and consumers. Blessing Egbon has been in the gas station business for a few years, experiencing it all firsthand. That's why he formed the startup company Exit 7C, headquartered in the St. Louis tech incubator space, T-Rex. Well, this is actually the exit I grew up off of in San Diego, California. He says the Exit 7C app offers a new way to pay using your phone. You pull up to the pump and you'll see the pump number there, obviously, you'll see the station. So you click on the station, which is a BP station. Uh, you choose whether you want regular, silver, or um, ultimate, or even diesel. So you choose regular, and then you choose the pump number we're at, which we're at pump one right now. And then when you hit that, you simply hit pay now, and it'll tell you to start fueling. The payment is drafted from the customer's bank account, eliminating the need for credit cards and debit cards, which Blessing says can be an issue for gas station owners and customers. Blessing came up with the idea while he was dealing with a crisis as a gas station owner. He owned this gas station in Henderson, North Carolina. His station and his customers became the victims of a credit card skimming device. So it'll stick on or sometimes it'll be a plastic like little slip that's inside of there. A credit card skimmer is a portable capture device that thieves will attach to the card reader at a gas pump. Many consumers are getting smart, pulling on the reader to make sure that it's permanent and not a skimming device. However, thieves are also getting smarter. At our station, what happened is they broke this seal here. And this is BP directly, but normally it comes from the Department of Weights and Measures. They were able to get inside the dispenser here and uh, put it in a little Bluetooth skimming device. So this right here is the bolt that opens up. It's like a key lock that opens up the pump. Uh, most equipment pump dispenser equipment guys, they have one key that works all the different pumps. Fueling pumps are gradually being equipped with chip card technology, but Blessing says it's not happening quickly enough. They're basically stealing the information that's off of this device. And then there's normally like a little camera that's up here, something like that, that watches you put in your zip code or your uh, debit card number. Blessing says paying with your phone frees you from worrying about any of this and it's free to use. He explains how his company makes money from participating gas stations, which he says is a blessing in of itself. They pay 15 cents per transaction compared to what they pay now, which is 2% of the total transaction cost. They want to save money on the processing fees. If the gas station can have zero processing fees and let you use your credit card, they do it. So let's just make it pretty simple. On a $100 bill, right? Let's say a $100 tab, they pay 2%, which is $2. With us, they would only pay 15 cents. That's it. And so it helps the gas station owners who are always trying to lower their processing fee uh, because gas is a pennies business. Blessing says customers who use his app would save the gas stations money, which can also save them money as some stations pass those credit card costs along to the customers. When you use our app, because it's um, we're using your bank account to do the payment, we're able to negotiate with the gas station for you to pay the cash price, which saves you money at the, ultimately at the end of the day. There are participating stations across the country using the Exit 7C payment system. At this point, he has 300 stations and growing. He says he's personally acquiring unmanned stations like this one in Houston, Texas. And he's working with St. Louis gas stations, launching the app in 2017. If you don't know which stations are part of the Exit 7C network, the app will show you. Wherever you are, Blessing walks us through what you do. Well, this little arrow right here, where it'll navigate you to that station through your GPS, your Google, your Apple. Once you're there in front of the pump, you just select uh, the fuel grade that you need. So regular, mid-grade, premium diesel. And you hit the pump number and you hit pay now. It'll tell you to start fueling. 
Once you're done, you basically take it off the nozzle, you put this back on there, and then it settles out the transaction, um, and then you're done. And it'll have a receipt that's available for you to be able to uh, see how much that you spent. And yeah, that's it. For Innovations, I'm Kathleen Berger.